Welcome, welcome, welcome to 66 Books of Truth Ministries. I am Minister Peyton Moore. I am so glad to be here. May God bless you. And I want you to know that I love you and Jesus Christ love you. Today, we're going to be speaking on the building blocks of life and death. The words that we speak that to bring life or death into our lives. The words we speak that can bring life or death to our lives. We set the tone when we wake up in the morning uh, of our homes, of the words that we speak to either uh, the, the, speak to our wives as men or our wives speak to their husbands. But I want to say the leader of the house, which is the man, you set the tone and atmosphere for your house each and every day. The words you speak, if you speak loving words, it's going to be a loving day. If you speak bad words, it's going to pretty much be a bad day. So we must take control of our tongue and our mind because there are things that can come from that heart that can destroy a lot of things. It goes on to say that, you know, the words that we use are building blocks and, and they construct our life and future because the choices of words that we choose today determines our destination for today and the future. Your words set the cornerstone of your life and you live within the confines of that boundary you create with the words that you use on a daily basis. Yes, we have situations. Yes, we have circumstances and different conditions. They are all subject to change, though. But with the support of your words, you can establish them in your life forever. We must speak good things in our life. Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit of it. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit of it. If you speak death, you're going to eat the fruit of it. If you speak life, you're going to eat the fruit of it, because the tongue is very powerful. What you believe and speak not only affects your body, but it also affects the immune system as well. If we wake up in the morning, we're talking about my back hurt, my leg hurt, my head hurt. And yes, fleshly, it does hurt. But we must learn to say, even though it hurt, I'm living. I'm good. I'm breathing. I can talk. The pain is there, but God has already fought the battle for my healing. I'm already healed. Or whatever the doctor come tell you something about cancer or diabetes, even though the doctor says it and, and we know it's there in, in the flesh, but God is saying in the spirit, you're already healed because one day you're going to go back to that doctor and the doctor's going to say, I can't find a trace of anything. I don't know what's going on here. Because you had the faith of a mustard seed. You just want to touch just a little piece of the cloth, a string of the cloth. And, and just for doing that, you made it through the crowd, just as the lady with the issue of blood, she made it through the crowd just to get a touch to be healed. But by her faith, she was healed. Your words become either a blessing or they can become a curse to you. Jesus put it this way. He says, a good man out of the good treasures of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasures of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For out of the abundance of the heart. His mouth speaketh. If you're a good man and you speak good words and you got good things treasured in your heart, you're going to say good things. But if you have this evil dark spirit within you and your heart is evil, you're going to speak 
You're going to speak dark, evil things, and that's what come out of your mouth. That's what come out of your mouth. Oh, it's one thing that we must learn, that, that, that God's word is infused, it's engrafted into us. Into you by giving voice to the word of God with your own mouth. And this is the language of health to your body, to your body. We must speak the things so that we can be healed. We must speak good things because we know that we're already healed because God has already fought the battle. He already won. He's already won the war. Here's a few good scriptures that I want to give you today. It says, Thou shalt also the create thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Job 22, 28. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto the mountain, Be thou moved, and thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. Mountain, move. Cancer, out of here. Satan, get out of here. We must put our faith in God. We must believe in him. A man's heart, that was uh, Mark eleven twenty three, Mark eleven twenty three. the last scripture that I read. It says, a man's heart divisive the, his way, but... The Lord directeth his steps. Proverbs 16, 9. The man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his heart. Hmm. Those are great words that we should always say, these great words. And that was Proverbs 69. Also, it goes on to say in Proverb um, uh, 21, 23, it says, Whosoever keepeth his mouth, his mouth and his tongue keepeth his soul from troubles. That's Proverb 21, 23. But here's one. It says, I create the fruit of the lips. Peace, peace to him that is far off and to him that is near saith the Lord, and I will heal him. I will heal him. It's God's will to heal you. He wants to heal you from whatever you're dealing with or from whatever you're going through. Because Jesus is ready. That scripture was Isaiah 57, 19. I just want to share this with you. Don't speak death into your life. Speak life into your life. May God bless you. Share this video. And I just want you all to know that I love you and may God keep you.